Welcome back to Twin Cities Adventures and back by popular demand, I'm gonna break out the Instant Pot and today we are going to make a Keto Chocolate Cheesecake. And for those of you who follow our cheesecake recipes, you know that when we make something, it's easy, it's fast, and it's delicious. Let's get going. First thing we're gonna do is make the crust and I'm gonna use almonds. This is a package of almonds from a recipe I did before. I just saved the ground almonds in the bag. I'm gonna need more than that, so we're gonna grind up some more here. The almonds, total carbohydrate, six grams, that's 2%, not much. That's about 30 seconds in the little mini food processor. Look at how ground up that is. Okay, so that's about two cups of ground up almonds, non-salted, and you're gonna add five tablespoons of melted butter. Butter, total carbs, zero grams, zero percent. We'll just give that a nice mix. Now you're gonna take your cheesecake pan. This one has a removable bottom here. So that's a fat daddy-o. It's six by three inches. I bought that on Amazon. Remove the bottom and wrap that in parchment paper, just like so. and then replace that back into the pan. Take some spray pan and give it a light coat. And then we'll add our almond butter crust. Now I like to take a drinking glass and just pat that all around. Now I'll show you a chart right now of 10 other keto friendly nuts that you can use also. And then we'll add that to the freezer and let that chill out while we mix up the pie filling. First thing we're gonna need is a two pack of Philadelphia cream cheese. That is 16 ounces total. Total carbohydrates, one gram, zero percent. We'll add that to the bowl. Now in my last cheesecake recipe, I used stevia sweetener for the keto sugar. It tasted kind of like diet sugar, so we're not gonna use that today. For today's keto chocolate cheesecake, we're gonna use Swerve keto-friendly sugar. Let's do a taste test. You know what? I like that a lot better. It still tastes a little bit like diet sugar. Very fine, kind of like powdered sugar. It'll be good. We'll add 2 thirds cup of Swerve. Here is my Swerve and Total carb, four grams, that's 1%. Total sugar, zero grams. That will be great. So I'll put the Swerve in the pantry for later use. And the Stevia, we'll put that in a special file cabinet where we put faxes from corporate. Next up, we have Hershey's Natural Unsweetened Cocoa Powder. We're gonna use one third cup of that. Total carbohydrates, three grams, 1%. Next up, we're gonna add sour cream. That's one cup of sour cream. Total carbohydrates, two grams, that's 1%. Now we'll add two eggs. That's 1.2 grams of carbohydrates. Two pinches of salt. Total carbohydrates, zero grams, zero percent. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. That's 1.6 grams of carbohydrates. Now we're gonna add some semi-sweet chocolate. This is like baking chocolate and it's a baking bar. We're gonna add six ounces of that melted. Total carbs, nine grams, that's 3%. Okay, that's about a minute in the microwave. And now in one bowl, I'm just gonna take my mixer here and mix the whole thing up. Okay, now I pulled my crust out of the freezer and that's nice and set. So now I'll just pour our chocolate keto cheesecake batter right over the top of that. All pan sizes are slightly different. Just fill it up almost full. If there's leftover, donate it to the local cheesecake shelf. Okay, so now we have our Instant Pot six-quart duo here, plugged in. It comes with this trivet. 
So I'll take my cheesecake, put it on the trivet. We'll add one cup of water, as we do with all of our cheesecakes. And in goes the keto chocolate cheesecake. Lock on the lid. Put the seal into lock position. And now let's come down here and program this together. Okay, we're gonna put that on pressure cook. Keep warm button off. I want that on normal, high pressure for 28 minutes. Here we go, let the timer begin. Okay, 28 minutes has passed. Now do not break the seal. We're gonna keep that sealed into a 10 minute natural pressure release. See you in 10 minutes. Okay, that's been a 10 minute natural release, so now we'll break the seal. Not much pressure left in there. Now we'll break the seal. Now we'll pull the cheesecake out. And notice I do not like to cover the cheesecake with tin foil because sometimes it expands a little bit depending on how full you fill it, and it's kind of a waste of money. So I like to just use a paper towel and blot that with water, and then that is just gonna be fine. It takes me just an extra, like, 10 seconds to do that. There we have it. Now that is fully cooked. The only thing that needed to be cooked was the eggs, and it was in there for 28 minutes plus 10 minutes, so like 38 minutes. So the eggs are cooked. Now what you're dealing with is hot cheesecake. So if you cut that open right away, it'd be all melty. So here's my rule, good, better, best. Put it in the refrigerator now. Good is four hours, better eight hours, best overnight. I recommend overnight with all Instant Pot cheesecakes. So you need to make it the night before, you'll be a lot happier. If you take it out too soon, it's gonna be sort of softer runny in the middle because it's still warm cheesecake, okay? Or cream cheese. So let's put that in the fridge overnight. See you tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. There's our keto chocolate cheesecake. And look at how it lifts away from the edges a little bit. That's nice. Now you need your Star Wars coffee cup. And then you give this a little smack. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? Looks delicious. Okay, then take your spatula and remove the parchment paper in the bottom of the pan there, just like that, and we'll put that on our plate. Mmm, yummy num nums. Now we'll just garnish that with some raspberries. Mmm, delicious. Yummy. All right, let's give this a cut. Boy, that almond crust is going to be so delicious. Look at that. Mmm, delicious. Here goes Instant Pot Keto Chocolate Cheesecake. That is so good. You'd never know it was keto because it's so delicious. That's got to be in one of my top five favorite ones. And one more thing, you'll notice when I quoted the um, carbohydrate counts and all the ingredients I put in there, I'm sure that's per serving. And how many pieces are you going to eat? If you eat the whole thing, you're probably not on a keto diet or any kind of diet. So you can break down the math if you want, if you're going to have like multiple pieces or half the pie. Or half the cake. Time for the first taste test. Mmm! This is delicious. Is it nice and chocolatey? Mm-hmm. How's the keto swerve sugar? Is it good? It's, it's, it's very good. You can't tell that um, it's a different sugar than you would normally use. Awesome. How's the almond crust? Mm -hmm. Very good and crumbly. <laughs> now it's my turn, kitty. Mm -hmm. 
nice and chocolatey and low. A raspberry is just there to top all the deliciousness off. What do you think, Jack? Mm -hmm. It smells good. Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once again, we only put our first place winners up. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures, out.